Hello and welcome to another Geek Stack review. I'm Wayne, and today I'm going to be showing you the OS 4, which is now available for 3G, 3GS, and it will be on the iPhone 4 once it's released later this week. I think, or next week. Anyway, um, I'm using the 3GS, and I'm going to quickly show you a quick guide, basically, on some of the new tasks and stuff it does. So I'll quickly show you first multitasking. Uh, to get your multitasking menu up, which will be at the bottom, you double click your home button. And there it is. These are your recently used apps that you can quickly go to and so on. Also in your multitask menu, you have the ability to play and skip forward your music and to lock your portrait uh, mode. So that will stop it from, if you turn it, you stop you know, your screen from flipping, especially in notes and, and probably the old books and all that sort of stuff. Anything, anything, any application allows you to tip your screen like that and rotate, it will stop that. So that's pretty good you know, feature I've been long after. Because yeah, you know, I could turn it, they rotate and lock it and so on. But basically, uh, you're multitasking. Uh, if I go into the iPad, it takes me back to exactly where I left. Think of it again. If I go to uh, notes, see how it just flipped? It's took me back to the notes where I left it. Mm. Camera, click on that, see how it flips again over to camera. So, that is pretty good. Folders. Now, a lot of people have been asking, how do you create the folders? I can't do it. No problem, I'm going to show you how to do it now. Let's see. I've created a couple of folders already, like I've got games and photos and Ustream and that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, we just do one with payment and all that, right? And shopping. So, what you do is you just click on an uh, icon for your app. Obviously, you get the old shaking menu up where you can delete and drag them around. Uh, what you do in this case is you simply drag an item uh, or an application on top of another one. And you drag the PayPal on top of the eBay one. And as you can see, it's renamed that folder automatically to Finance. Right? Now, I'm pretty happy with that, so I'll probably keep that. But if you didn't want to keep that automatic name, click on there and enter in your own. Simple. Once you're happy, just tap your screen and there is the folder finance. And now you can just drag uh, any application into that folder. Uh, it does show you a very, very small icon within that icon. Yeah, you can just back my cow. So that could be used. So that's how you create your folders. Uh, email is being approved. Uh, I've only got one email account set up on my iPhone because that's all I need for my iPhone. But I will talk to you quickly about some of the features. Uh, in the mailbox now, you have the ability to obviously set up all your different accounts, as you could before. Uh, but now you get like a, a new menu thing up here saying all inner boxes which allows you to search from all your accounts and all your inner boxes within all your accounts. That's pretty good. Tells you how many uh, messages there are and stuff like that. Uh, see all your messages from all your accounts in uh, obviously your inner box. Organised messages by threads, open attachments and third party apps and a lot more. Uh, the iBooks are quite cool surprised really because it's nowhere to be found. It hasn't been added into the upgrade, so it ain't on your phone automatically from the upgrade. I've searched the iTunes store, the app store, it's, it's just not in there. It's available for the iPad, but not the iPhone. So I imagine it's going to be released within the next week or two. Probably wait for the iPhone 4 to come out before the release into the iPhone uh, store. App Store, whatever you call it. Uh, so it's not available as yet, but it is coming. Uh, the camera, 
obviously it's been added with a five times the good digital zoom which people can't seem to find right, well, I'm going to quickly show you now obviously I've got no photo because I'm just staring at a black screen this I can basically show you but basically to get it up as you can see you sort of double tap and there is your zoom you zoom right in see zoom right in and that's how you get your zoom so it is there people you just go look for it right see it's gone click there obviously you have to refocus back in wherever you want to point or zoom in and whatever but it is there so don't say it's not because it is well as we go out uh, let's have a look at it. create your own playlist so if you're in the uh, iPod app and you want to create your own playlist you uh, can you simply click on add playlist enter name so my top list or whatever you want to name it click save now button. you can add songs now by your artist which you can click on artist down the bottom songs or whatever I'm going to go by artist I'm going to click on the Nora James I think um, yeah, yeah, I will stick with the James. Now, again, this by artist. These are the albums. I can click on add all songs, or I can click in an album and select an individual song or add all songs, which I'm going to add all songs. That's done now. But you know when it's done because it darkens the text of the song, and that's when you know you've added it. So click done, and. There are the songs in the playlist. Now, what else we got? <laughs> double tap to focus, which you can double tap now in your recording to focus. I'm really going to show you that, it's pretty simple. Uh, place and places and photos. Obviously, you need uh, to use the iMac. Uh, what's it called? Uh, iPhotos on the iMac. So it only works on the photos in the iMac, which basically you can view photos based on who's in them and where they was taken. Another good thing now is your background. So if we go to your settings, your wallpaper, you can now select your home screen or the lock screen. So I'm going to select the home screen, click on that. You can select one for your camera roll or select the wallpaper as here. I'm just going to select that one. Click set. You can select as lock screen, home screen, or both. Well, I'll just want the home screen. And if I go back now, it, it has changed. So that's basically how you do that. The App Store. You can now gift apps over. So. I'm just going to say, say the iBook shelf, which I was just searching for uh, the iBook earlier on. You scroll down there, it is GIF this app. So that's where the GIF apps is. The spell checker, which has been added, is uh, not bad, to be honest. Let's try and spell something wrong. Space if it underlines with some red dots where you can click on that and it uh, gives you some recommendations. And click on click on it, obviously, it's about cheap. It wasn't what I was after, but the word I was after wasn't there, so you have to spell it out uh, manually. Pretty much, so it's still invaluable, but basically, that's how, you, how that takes. Now, I think I've covered most of the main ones, really. Um, I can't think of uh, any more. There are loads more. I will say Game Central is also not available yet. Uh, it probably is coming soon. Uh, I'm not sure if it is an iPhone 4 only feature. Again, I'm not sure if it is available for the 3GS. It's not as yet. 
and probably be a lot of stores. Well, that's it from Geeks Tech. Hopefully, that's gave you a quick overview on the uh, ISO 4 update. Any questions, queries, feel free to ask. You can email me at wayne at geekstech.co.uk or preferably go to techqa.co.uk where you can ask that question. Now you can find me on www.geekstech.co.uk, twitter.com forward slash for geeks tech, Facebook geeks tech, youtube.com forward slash geeks tech where you can subscribe to all our videos. Uh, me.me forward slash geeks tech and also live.geekstech.co.uk which is our 24 hours day, 7 days a week live video feed. And that's it for now, until next time, see you later.